Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about multiplication and division of integers. So at the end of this lesson, you, sh you should be able to correctly state the rules for multiplying and dividing integers. Accurately find the product and or quotient of two integers. And properly simplify series of operations involving multiplication and division of integers. So the essential questions that we want to answer at the end of this lesson are the following. How is the process of multiplying and dividing integers similar to the process of multiplying and dividing whole numbers? How are they different? Why does dividing integers follow the same rules as multiplying integers? And how can you represent and solve application problems involving multiplication and division of integers? Rules for multiplication and division of integers. So just like addition and subtraction, we also have what we call uh, rules of sign for multiplication and division. So the same sign, same sign, or what we call like signs, the product of two integers with the same sign, the same sign or like sign is always a positive integer. So if we multiply integers with the same sign, the same sign, positive, positive, or negative, negative, the answer is positive. Similarly, the quotient of two integers with the same sign, like signs, is always a positive sign or a positive integer. So, when we say product, review muna natin. So, pag nag-multiply tayo ng, mga, uh, ng integers, ang tawag sa answer ay product. Pag nag-divide tayo ng dalawang integers, ang tawag dun sa answer is quotient. Okay, quotient. So, the product of two integers with the same sign, again, is a, is a positive integer. The quotient of two integers with the same sign is positive. Examples. We have 4 times 2 equals 8. So, we have 4 which is positive, and 2, which is also positive. So the sign of the answer is positive. And we just do the ordinary multiplication. So that's just 4 times 2, that's 8. Positive, positive, the product is positive. And similarly, if we have negative 4 times negative 2, we have here negative integer times negative integer. So the answer is positive. Again, the same signs. The same signs, the answer is positive. So 4 times 2, that's 8. So the answer is positive 8. Next, we have 8 divided by 2. We have positive integer and positive integer. Positive, positive. So the quotient is positive. 8 divided by 2, that is 4. So, the answer is positive 4. Again, if it's if the answer is positive, hindi na nilalagay yung positive dito. At automatically, you know, it's understood positive. So, 8 divided by 2 equals 4. Similarly, if we have negative 8 divided by negative 2, so negative integer, divide natin sa negative integer, pareho silang negative, so the answer is positive. So, 8 divided by 2 is positive 4. Rules for multiplication and division of integers if they have different signs. Okay, unlike signs. So, the product of two integers with different signs is always a negative integer. Again, pag the same sign, positive ang sagot. Pag different signs, negative ang sagot. Okay? This rule is also good for the quotient of two integers, meaning this is for both multiplication and division of integers. So, pag different signs, the answer is always a negative integer. Okay? So, multiplication and division of integers, same signs or like signs, then the answer is positive. Pag different signs or unlike signs, the answer is negative integer. Let's have an example. 4 times negative 2. We have here positive integer, negative integer. Positive, negative, 
different signs. And so the answer is negative. And do the multiplication. So 4 times 2, that's 8. So the answer is negative 8. And if we have dito kasi nauna positive, positive negative. Balik na rin natin. Negative 4 times 2. So nauna ang negative. And then multiply to a positive integer. So negative, positive. Again, different signs. So the answer is negative. And multiplication 4 times 2, that's 8. So the answer is negative 8. The same with, with division. So if we have 8 divided by negative 2, positive, negative, different signs. So the answer is negative. And do division. So 8 divided by 2, that's 4. And so the answer is negative 4. Kung baliktad naman, so negative 8 divided by 2, negative, positive, different signs. So the answer is negative. So 8 divided by 2, that's 4. So the answer is negative 4. Again, rules for multiplication and division of integers. Pag like signs, o yung tinawag, tinatawag nating same signs, the answer is positive. Pag unlike signs, the answer is negative. So pareho lang sa addition and subtraction. So when we perform operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, we have to look at the signs of the integers. Okay? The signs of the integers. That's very important. So before we proceed to another um, series or sets of example, we need to look at the symbols that are used for multiplication and division. Unang symbol ay this multiplication symbol, x. So this is read as times. Right? This is read as times. Example, 4 times 3 equals 12. Positive, positive, so positive answer. Another symbol used for multiplication um, is uh, this symbol, parenthesis. Okay, parenthesis. Example, 4 times 3. This is read as times. Okay? The same as this one. The same as this one. Take note, we have here a parenthesis. 4 times 3. Notice that we don't have a plus sign or a a minus sign between 4 in the parenthesis. So, this is read as 4 times 3. 4 times 3. And that is still 12. Another example, if we have here negative 4, we have two sets of parenthesis. So, negative 4, parenthesis, yan. At saka, another parenthesis, 3. In this case, in between the parentheses, we don't have a plus sign or a minus sign. So we read this one as multiplication. So that's negative 4 times 3. We have here negative, positive, different signs. And so the answer is negative. So we multiply 4 and 3, that's 12. So the answer is negative 12. Next, we have this symbol. This is the symbol for division. Example, 6 divided by 2, positive, positive, that's 3. Okay. We know that because we've been using that in elementary. Another symbol for division is the fraction form. You know, fractions meaning we divide them. So, A divided by B or the first number, the dividend, and divided by the number below. It's the divisor. So A over B or A divided by B. Example, negative 6 over 2, meaning negative 6 divided by 2. So we have here negative and we have here positive. So the answer is negative. So 6, six divided by 2, that's 3. And so the answer is negative 3. Let's have an example. Find the product 10 times negative 7. So multiply as though you are multiplying whole numbers. Since the factors have different sign, we have here positive for 10 and negative for 7. The product must be negative. So 10 times negative 7, the answer is negative 17. 
because that's 10 times 7, it's 70. Another example, perform the indicated operations. We have here a combination of multiplication and division. So negative 9 times negative 5 divided by negative 3. And so, perform multiplication and division from left to right. So we begin here. So negative 9 at saka negative 5. So we have to multiply first negative 9 and negative 5. Since the factors have the same sign, negative, negative, the product must be positive. So we have negative 9 times negative 5, and that is equal, equal to positive 45. Or we don't write this plus sign anymore, so that's 45. Okay, so negative, negative, positive ang sagot. And so after that, we have to divide 45 by 3. So whatever is the answer here, we divide that by negative 3. Since the dividend and the divisor have different signs, bakit different signs? Negative, negative man, mom. So that's the same sign. No, we have here positive sign. Okay, the answer to this is positive 45. And so positive and negative, they have different signs. The quotient must be negative. So we have 45 coming from this one, positive yan, divided by negative 3. They have different signs. So the answer is negative. 45 divided by 3, that's 15. So the answer is negative 15. Therefore, negative 9 times negative 5 divided by negative 3 equals negative 15. individual practice find the product of negative 27 and 3 negative 27 times 3 can be written as this one okay so dalawang parenthesis so pag uh, gumamit ka na ng dalawang parenthesis pwede nang walang uh, ganit yung x na symbol because they are understood as multiplication so, negative 27 times 3. So, negative, positive, the answer must be negative. So, that's 27 times 3, that's 81. I want you to try number 2 in your notebook. So, answer this. You may pause this video and then check the answer in a moment. So, you can go ahead and pause this video and try to answer number two. All right, I suppose you're done answering number two now. So let's check if you have the correct answer. So negative 27 divided by 9 times negative 2. So le from left to right. So we have negative 27 divided by negative 9 first. And so that is... Negative 27 divided by negative 9, that is 3. So negative, negative, that's positive. 27 divided by 9 is 3, so that's positive 3. Times negative 21. Okay? And so we have positive, negative, so the answer must be negative. So 3 times 21, and that is 63. So the answer is negative 63. Problem solving. An amount of 1,800 pesos is automatically deducted from Pia's debit account to pay for her monthly internet service. How much would be deducted from her account for 7 months of charges? So we have here 1,800 pesos yung kinakaltas daw sa debit account ni Pia, or sa, sa bank account niya, for her internet service. So, monthly yan every month for 7 days. So, ang tanong ngayon, ilan lahat? Magkano lahat? Magkano lahat ang makakaltas dun sa account ni Pia for 7 months? Okay? So, 1,800 pesos deducted from Pia's account. So, the word deducted meaning we, we can represent this 1,800 with a negative integer. Okay? So, that would be negative 1,800 times 7 kasi for 7 months. 
Okay, 1 8 for the first month, another plus 1 8 for the second month, plus 1 8 for the third month, hanggang 7 yan. So that's negative, negative 1,800 times 7. And that is equal to negative 12,600. So negative, positive, so that's negative 12,600. So therefore, 12,600 pesos will be deducted from her account. Ma'am, nganong diri wala na positive? Bakit dito may neg uh, but dito walang negative? Dito may negative. Because we already have the word here, deducted. So 12,600 will be deducted from her account. So let's check your understanding. I want you to copy and answer this in your notebook. So let's practice A, 1 to 6, B, 1 to 5, and C, number, numbers 1 and 2. Okay, you have to copy and answer that in your notebook, and we, would, um, we are going to check that via Zoom meeting. 